reboot I'm cold red, my service automated Like data running through my veins Got you distracted, subconscious overloaded Careful, don't pull the cord on me What happened next? Well, he has to take me to one more spa, and I agreed. And then? Zack took me to a beautiful pier, and we just stared at the night sky for a while. Then we talked about my father and my mother. He was just so nice and understanding about everything. I'm just happy you're feeling better, Bella. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit better. I think I might call my daddy later. All right. Anyways, did anything else happen between you and Zack before you came home? Hmm... Bella, I was thinking... What is it? Did you maybe want to go to homecoming with me? Uh, why would I go to your home when we're in front of the dorms? Uh, no, no, I mean the upcoming school dance. Oh, now that I think about it, Kate called the dance the same thing. But sure, we'll go with you. Um, we? Yeah, me and Kate. Bella, you didn't. I did! I invited him to the dance with us, Kate. That poor guy. Uh, what did you say? Bella, I'm pretty sure Zach wanted to go with just you to the dance. As a date. Uh, date? W with me? Mm hmm I've never gone on a date before. And at this rate, you never will. Kate! We need to find a way to salvage this. Am I interrupting something, ladies? Well, actually... Great, now, Bella, I'm going to need you to come with me. I don't think I much want to. Well, thank goodness it wasn't a request. You are coming with me. Why would I go and do that? Because for some reason, the Britneys want to speak to you. The Britneys? Trust me when I say it would be better for you to go to them rather than make them come to you. Fine. Let's go. Uh, finally. Bella. Be careful. Will do. I brought her. <laughs> Good work, number four. You may go. I'm number five. I said... You may go. R right. Stella, we are like totally happy that you are here. Right, Brittany? She is so right. You should take a seat. We have so much to catch up on. Right. Oh, what did you want to talk about, ladies? It's been a while since you've come and hung out with us. Girly, you aren't avoiding us now, are you? We are like besties now, after all. Well, Brittany, of course she isn't avoiding us. You are being so silly. Maybe you're right, Brittany. I keep forgetting that you actually are smarter than you look sometimes. But I want to hear from Dana over here, not you, Brittany. The thing is... The thing is that if you were our friend, you wouldn't ever go behind our back and do something sneaky, like go to Albany Pier with our cousin. Right? How did you know about that? Sweetie, we're filthy rich. 
We know everything. Like how you were planning to go to the homecoming with Zack. Is there something wrong with that? Zack taking a pretty girl to homecoming? No, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Unfortunately, he is taking you to homecoming and not a pretty girl. I think I should go. We think you should stay. We're not done with you yet. But I'm done with both of you! I'm not that stupid! The first time we were supposed to hang out, you both ditched me! And then when I finally had the dignity to leave, you finally came to get me only to get me food poisoning! On top of that, you have never even called me the right name! Not once! Ugh, it's not our fault you're so gullible, Lana. You're practically always wearing a sign on your back that says, kick me. That's it! I'm leaving and I'm going to this homecoming dance with Zack! Viola, don't you dare go to the dance with Zack. Trust us, you have no idea what you are getting yourself into. And I don't care! Zack has only ever been nice to me and actually treated me like a person! Like a matter! Which is more than could be said for the two of you hussies! What even is a hussy? I think it's like... British slang? Ugh, whatever. Brittany, text the stand club. We need to ruin homecoming for that cunt. Come in. Ah, Matthew. I didn't realize you had an appointment today. Oh, I, I didn't, but uh, this feels urgent. All right, please take a seat. Thank you, Mrs. Wright. What seems to be the problem? Well, I've been uh, getting these uh, weird urges lately where I just want to hurt everyone around me. I just want to see them dead. Any particular reason for these urges? It's because of my mom. She keeps me locked in the house all day with all of her other broken toys and only lets me go outside when she needs something. Theon, I don't have time for this. Also, I am not your mother, so please do not refer to me as such. Uh, you are no fun! Just work, work, and more work. Hurry up and get to the point. But that is the point. All you've been supposedly doing is working on obtaining this candidate. Yet there doesn't seem to have been any progress. Perhaps you're... All teetered out. And perhaps you should watch your mouth before I make you wear your skin inside out. Ooh, scary, scary lady. If you are done pestering me. Huh? D did you? Yes, I sense that too. Mind if I check it out? Only if you don't mind dying an excruciating death. I was only joking, dear Verena. That being said, I don't believe we should simply ignore this. What are you suggesting? Kate, what on earth are we doing here? I just figured you could use a new dress for homecoming. And I absolutely love this boutique. What's wrong with the dresses I already own? Nothing, as long as you don't mind looking like Dorothy from Wizard of Oz. Actually, I don't mind that. Let's just go inside. This one is pretty cute, Kate. I think we can find one a little better. Let's keep looking. So, Bella, what did the Britneys want to talk to you about? Oh, um, they just wanted to know where I've been. Bella, you shouldn't trust them. They might seem to care about you, but they're cruel people. Kate, I know. Oh, well, that took you long enough. Let's not talk about that right now. Anyways, where are all the pink dresses? I thought the dance theme was pretty in pink. Yeah, but only the Britneys are allowed to wear pink. A whole color is owned by a few girls? That seems absolutely ridiculous to me. And who are you? Sonia. I work here. So you were saying? We have these two girls that go to our school and apparently only they, and only they, are allowed to wear pink to homecoming. <laughs> Let me guess. 
They think they own the school or something, right? No, I'm pretty sure they might actually own the school. Oh, would these girls happen to both have blonde hair and one of them has blue eyes while the other has green eyes? Yup, that would be them. Ah, uh, I know exactly who you are referring to now. Those girls are some grade-A cunts. That's an understatement of the century. Say, if you ladies are still looking for a dress, I might have just the one for you in the back. Care to see? Sure! Let's see it! Follow me. Ta-da! It's gorgeous! It's pink. Well, it's more of a deep cerise, but I mean, I guess. No, we can't wear this. The Britneys would kill us if they saw us in this. Oh, dang it. Come on, ladies. Are you really gonna let these bullies have power over you for the rest of your lives? You need to show them that you won't take any more of their mean girl bullshit. She does have a point, Kate. I don't want to be their punching bag no more. Then even more reason not to go against the Britneys. We're gonna have to pass on this dress, Sonia. Well, alright. Did you have any other dresses in mind? I think one of the first ones I saw was cute. Yeah, I know which one I want to buy. Alright, you two ladies go grab those dresses and I'll meet you at the register. <laughs>